Welcome. This is a three-minute briefing by Three Round Stones. My name is Dr. David Wood. This briefing introduces linked data. There was a time when we confused information with the containers they came in. Even though all we really cared about was the information inside, we built institutions dedicated to the preservation of the form, not the information itself. Eventually, we freed content by turning it into bits of information that could be shipped around the Internet. That has many advantages, but we recognize that libraries and bookstores will never be the same. Music has undergone the same transition, from selling containers to selling bits of information that may be played on a variety of devices, from iPods to computers to home stereos. All of these things happen because of the World Wide Web, but the web is still evolving rapidly. Data that used to be reached via local network now needs to be reached remotely, used remotely, and combined with other data remotely. Where is your data in the age of the web? Most likely, your data is stuck in proprietary containers, like books and music of a few years ago. Your data is hierarchical, and so are the systems that support them. Hierarchical data doesn't combine easily, which is why there's a $10 billion data warehousing market that's expected to grow at 35% per year. Return on investment for IT projects industry-wide is almost always under 18 months and generally much shorter. We don't have much time to address these challenges, even if money is available. How can we change our data to support a mobile workforce, provide flexible reuse of information, and future-proof our infrastructure without vendor lock-in, high costs, or lengthy ROI? One answer is to use the World Wide Web for more than documents. Just as the web enables us to link related documents, it allows us to link related data. The term linked data refers to the set of best practices for publishing and connecting structured data on the web using international standards of the World Wide Web Consortium, or W3C. Since linked data combines easily with other linked data, we can readily reference other data anytime we publish it. Like the web, linked data can exist on either side of enterprise firewalls. Some linked data is public. The Linked Open Data Project consists of free and open data on the web. The project has grown rapidly to include hundreds of data sets, consisting of more than 25 billion statements and with hundreds of millions of links between them. These data sets do not share a single schema. They cooperate without needing to coordinate. They interlink in the same way that web pages do. Linked data may be published on its own or exist within web pages. Web pages either contain or are paired with a machine-readable data representation. We've seen this pattern before. Credit cards, like modern web pages, also have human-readable sides and machine-readable sides. Current users of linked data include some organizations you may have heard of, including Google, the governments of the UK and Germany, Cleveland Clinic, National Center for Biomedical Ontology, the US Library of Congress, several pharmaceutical companies, and the ones you see here. Even more use linked data approaches solely within their own firewalls. The web is still evolving and currently it is evolving into the world's largest and most comprehensive database. Where the web has been, the enterprise is going. More information on linked data may be found in these two books, which are freely available on the web at linkdatabook.com and threeroundstones.com. This video is licensed under a Creative Commons by SA license, allowing you to share and remix its contents as long as you give us attribution and share alike. We gratefully acknowledge those who have similarly allowed us to use, reuse their content, as well as those whose copyrighted material we've used under fair use provisions. This has been a production of Three Round Stones.